Hi, my name is Michele Cirillo. I am product specialist at Technomed Italia for the handy surgery line. Welcome to the Aspirol section. Aspirol is our suction cart. As you can see, it is entirely made of stainless steel, fitted with four wheels to be carried around, and has a connection pipe for both water and power, starting at the top of the machine and connecting to the top part of the cabinet. This allows to prevent the pipe from laying on the ground thus avoiding friction and, more importantly, excessive dirt. Some will ask how a top-to-top -top connection can allow the caspiter to drain properly. Please watch the video until the end, you'll get your answer. As you can see, our Aspirol is fitted with two suction cannulas. These two surgical cannulas are compatible with Catani cannulas, as well as other models available on the market. Technomed terminals are made of anodized aluminium and are designed for quick release in order to be cleaned, sanitized and even sterilized in an autoclave unit. As you can see, you can take this part down and even extract the tap with a slight pressure. Now I can put it back together. Obviously, the same principle applies for the 17-inch cannula as well as the 11-inch cannula. As you can see, the terminals are fitted onto two supports, which are also autoclave compatible. These can be slid out by removing the O-rings that keep them in position. As I was saying, the two supports can be sterilized and cleaned in an autoclave unit. Now I'll put it back together. As you can see, it is a fairly quick and simple operation. Both cannulas converge into this yellow filter. The yellow filter is removable. Within it, there is another filter to keep any waste and dirt inside. Thus, I can easily and thoroughly wash it and fit it back into the unit. We deliberately decided to include this button to turn on the suction, as you have the option of leaving the cannula on its support. Indeed, with a sterilizable rubber tube that we insert in the patient's mouth, you can press the button to activate suction, which is not possible if you have to lift the cannula to perform the operation. Aspirol is not fitted with a syringe, as during surgery your assistant is not very likely to use this tool. Cup and caspiter water is dispensed by pressing two buttons, one for the cup and one for the caspiter, located at the end of the cannula's holder. By pressing either button, I activate water dispensing. When I press the automatic cup button, the caspiter water starts automatically for a factory set time of 3-5 minutes. I can also bypass the caspiter water by pressing the button on the side. Therefore, I can turn on and off the caspiter water here, while cup water is controlled from this side. Both the caspiter nozzle and the cup nozzle 
are entirely made of steel, removable and washable in an autoclave unit. The caspiter too can be taken apart. Like this. In order to be placed in a disinfector. Moreover, the caspiter, just like mid to high end orthodontic units, can rotate 180 degrees. Thanks to this, Aspirol can move as close as possible to your patient's mouth and rinse it. By rotating the cart, you may notice another filter. This is a caspiter waste filter. By unscrewing this filter, you can access the receptacle where all amalgam waste collects, together with all other waste produced by the procedure and transferred by the patient into the caspiter. What does this mean? This means that the aspiral cart is also fitted with a valve under the caspiter. The moment the valve senses the flow of water, it engages the suction motor. The aspiral cart was designed for water ring motors or water ring suction motors. This is due to the fact that a separator can be fitted downstream, hence either by the suction motor or behind the cabinet. Upon specific request, you will have to call us, as this option is not available in our configuration th system. It is also possible to fit the separator into the cart. Clearly, there will be an additional hindrance, an example the pipe to release the water, which will be positioned here. Therefore, there will be an additional pipe down below that will allow you to drain the caspiter water separately. This solution is also available with an amalgam separator, Though the same issue mentioned before applies, in example, the cart will feature another pipe in the bottom section. As you noticed, this area features two white nozzle holders and a push button. Well, in our configuration system, among the various options, you may also add our Sanivac system. The Sanivac system allows to sanitize and disinfect the whole suction line from the suction cannulas all the way to the exhaust tube. To do so, insert the cannulas and then press this button for 15 to 20 seconds. There is a small tray inside containing a disinfectant mix that is collected by the cannulas and flows through the whole suction system to clean it. As regards maintenance, servicing our aspiral cart requires two very simple passages that are no different from the operations you carry out every evening on your standard unit. Let us have a look. This suction waste filter must be obviously cleaned every evening. The O-rings must be thoroughly lubricated. And the same applies when taking apart the two suction cannulas.
in which case her rings must always be lubricated. As concerns cleaning the collection tray located by the valve under the cuspider, the gasket in here must be properly lubricated and the same goes for the O-rings on the cuspider nozzle and the cup nozzle. Hence, when you sterilize, once you bag them and prior to fitting them back, a rings must be properly lubricated, as we said, the key characteristic of our aspiral cart is that it can fit inside the cabinet. To do so, it is necessary to remove the nozzles. Once the nozzles have been removed, just carry the cart back into its cabinet. This allows to easily clean the room and set it up for a whole range of other purposes. To give an example, if your Morpheus chair is fitted with leg rests, for a gynecologist it is not pleasant to see an orthodontic cart and a suction unit fitted with a cuspider in a space devoted for gynecology visits. This is why our cabinets are designed to conceal the whole unit. The cabinet contains the control unit for the suction motor, which is exactly the same as my carts. As regards our cabinets, as I already mentioned, the central unit is located inside and is used to connect the aspiral cart. Behind the cabinet we provided for the option of setting up the water feed, the power supply, the suction line and the pipe incoming from the suction motor. Clearly you have seen the cabinet placed at the left of your chair, though you can as well place it behind it or in any other position. In any case, based on your specific requirement, we can assess the best position for it. As you can see from our instruction manual, we also provide for the option of purchasing our whole surgery line without cabinets. Our internal experts will make a free project for you to advise you about the best way to set up your surgical room. By doing so, you'll have a chance to optimize your work and ensure the best professional performance. Thank you for your time and bye from Michele Cirillo, Technomed Italia product specialist for the handy surgery line. See you at the next insight. Thank you.